Hi, I'm Dinesh Amra Sinha, a fifth year graduate student from Ralphie Lab in Department of Chemistry at Wayne State University. Our group is in investigating the potential of using materials for luminescence thermometry. Recently, I published a paper in Chemistry of Material reporting the use of manganese 4 plus ion in band shift luminescence thermometry. Today, I'm going to tell you a little bit about that work. Luminescence thermometers use the dependence, temperature dependence of the luminescence response for temperature sensing. Usually they are useful for temperature sensing in inaccessible conditions. For an example, if you need to measure the temperature inside of a cell or the temperature of a gas flow from a gas turbine, you can potentially use these luminescent thermometers. Uh, in particular, my research is uh, interest is on using group 5 and 6 metal oxides such as niobates, uh, tungstates for luminescence thermometry. A typical luminescent thermometry, uh, thermometer consists of two components. One of them is the luminescent ion called the activator and the other is the host which is doped with the activator ions. In, in this work I have used sodium for magnesium tungstate as my host material since it has octahedral magnesium 2 plus ions which can be substituted by manganese 4 plus ions. And I am also interested in manganese 4 plus as an activator since it is less studied for luminescence thermometry compared to commonly used rare activators such as uh, rare ions. Uh, in this work, first I synthesized my uh, material by using high temperature solid state reaction. What I did was I doped manganese 4 plus ions into sodium for magnesium tungstate structure using high temperature solid state reactions. After the synthesis, I confirmed the purity of the synthesized samples using Newton diffraction. To confirm the oxidation state of manganese in the crystal structure, I decided to use X ray photoelectron spectroscopy where I found the oxidation state of manganese to be plus 4. After that, I could confirm that manganese 4 plus substitute for magnesium 2 plus site in the crystal structure using uh, elemental analysis. After doing the, all those things, I decided to measure the photoluminescence of the synthesized samples and when I did that, I observed a broad band red emission and the luminescence decay measurements confirmed that this broad band emission is due to the presence of two types of manganese 4 plus emitting centers. After that, I wanted to check the feasibility of using this material for luminescence thermometry. For that, I measured the temperature dependent luminescence response of the material by placing it inside a cryostat in the temperature range from 100 to 400 Kelvin. When I did that, I observed a significant shift of the emission band maximum with increasing temperature towards shorter wavelengths. So I got the idea of using this uh, emission shift for temperature sensing that means to read the temperature. So I constructed a thermometric scale. Uh, currently, uh, lumin uh, band shift luminescence thermometers are uh, domin uh, dominated, uh, dominated by quantum dots. My luminescent thermometer is comparable to, uh, to the quantum dots in terms of thermometric sensitivity. And more importantly, my luminescent thermometer can operate over a broader temperature window than quantum dots. In addition to that, I wanted to understand the origin of this band shift. To do that, I measured a variable temperature luminescence decays and I found that the emission band shift is a result of the, uh, of the difference between the uh, activation energies of thermal quenching of the two types of manganese 4 plus emitting centers. And if you need further details, you can uh, click on the link below and thank you for watching.